Hi, Phoenix Rising here, and today what we're going to be taking a look at is a Gen 2 night vision rifle scope. This is a do-it-yourself home built. Uh, this particular unit is using an MX9644 image tube, which is uh, the same thing as a military PVS-4 rifle scopes used. Uh, it was, came out of a medical imager, and that's the uh, what the main body is actually the holder from the medical imager. Uh, to kind of go over it real quickly here, we have an 850 nanometer IR laser up front. Uh, this is a laser sight. It actually has windage and elevation adjustments. And uh, it's basically pretty invisible to the naked eye. Even the uh, beam, uh, looking at the beam at close range, hitting something, you still can't really see it. Uh, but it is very bright in the uh, night vision. Coupled with that, we have a, a 45 degree offset with a quick detach mount uh, and an 850 illuminator. Uh, you can get these. Uh, this is Evolvo, but Unique Fire makes them. They're cheap. They're not the greatest, but they, they'll throw a beam a couple hundred yards. Uh, this is an 850, so it is uh, pretty bright to the naked eye. 940 illuminators are not, but what we did to kind of mitigate that a little bit was we went ahead and uh, put some infrared filter material behind the lens, infrared pass filter for photography use. This is Lee 87 filter, 87 Charlie filter material. Uh, you want the 87C. It will block most of the visible light, but uh, probably about 80% of the visible light output of this illuminator while leaving the IR intact for the night vision. So there you have the basic, uh, basic extras on it. Uh, for a lens, we're using a Pentax K mount. Uh, this is a 135 millimeter f 2.5 lens. It gives about one and a half x magnification, not a lot, but it has a good low f number as far as uh, for what you can get in a 35 millimeter film lens. We did uh, mount this. We didn't mount this directly. The front end of this is actually the front end of a Pentax camera, with the functionality of having your uh, locking mechanism for the camera lens on there, so you can actually take this lens off and swap it out. Uh, we also have just for example. This is a 70 to 210 lens, f3.5, which is good for that range as far as f-stops. But this does allow a lot less light in, uh, but it will get you up to about two and a quarter, two and a half x magnification, and you can swap it out. Uh, looking at the line box on the side, uh, you can see we have our power switch and our gain knob. This uses a standard circuit for an MX9644, uh, where you're using a 470K resistor and uh, marrying that up with a uh, 50k potentiometer so you have full functionality of the gain. On the back end we have another Pentax lens. Uh, this lens is a, is a gutted 50 millimeter lens and basically we gutted it. We took a uh, magnifying lens out of another camera lens uh, that fit the bill, mounted it in here so that we have uh, the ability to focus in the back and adjust for different people's eyesights. Uh, turning it on, you can see it gives a good, uh, good wide image, real bright image of the tube. So that's how we have it topped off. On the bottom is our Picatinny mount. It's a half inch riser made by True Glow. Uh, this is epoxied and Gorilla glued in place, and then uh, also drilled and tapped with three number 10 32 thread pitch uh, screws, Loctite down, holding everything together. So there you have it, Gen 2 home built night vision. And uh, when it gets dark, we'll take a look and see how this thing performs. We'll start with some photos and follow up with video. The lighting conditions were overcast with low cloud cover and a fair amount of light pollution causing a moderate amount of diffused ambient light. This was enough to walk around in the open carefully, like with, say, a quarter moon, but without the added benefit of having clear shadows. We'll be uh, taking a look at objects at 20, 50, 140, and 300 yards distance. We'll be seeing a daytime view followed by an edited photo to show about what I could see with the naked eye and then finally a view through the night vision with the gain at maximum and without the use of an external illuminator. This is an overview of the backyard. We have a bench at 20 yards, an uprooted tree, and a birdhouse on a tree both approximately 50 yards away. This is a view that I, as I could see it at night, uh, 
you may want to pause and adjust your monitor so that the planner in the foreground is just barely a discernible shape you can't tell what it is uh, that's about the level of vision that I had while uh, shooting these videos and taking pictures here's the first view with the night vision at 20 yards uh, notice the bright dot in the center that's our laser sight the bright spot you're seeing in the night vision photographs is our laser sight the tree in the center of the frame is about 50 yards away there are street lights about 50 yards to the left and right on the roadway notice in the night view you really can't see the tree you can kind of make out the roadway this is actually a little brighter than it actually appeared and here's our view of the same scene through our night vision next we're going to look at a house at 140 yards of distance uh, notice a street light on the pole between us and the house this view is a little brighter than what I could actually see you can kind of see the house very faintly uh, dark area in between and of course you have the high uh, high brightness area caused by the street light here's our view looking through the night vision uh, in this case the auto brightness control on the night vision did kick in and tone down the gain because we had an abundance of light uh, image is a little out of focus because of me not because the uh, tube can't reproduce uh, resolution at that distance lastly we have our 300 yard scene with a uh, railroad crossing at about 300 yards railroad signs about 120 and here's what I could see there at night here we have our night vision shots notice at 300 yards the uh, while the spot for the laser is larger it's still highly visible even at 300 yards in this image you see the rectangular lit area that's from the illumination with the beam being all the way focused uh, however when I back that focus out to fill the whole view with the illuminator the auto brightness control kicked in causing the uh, detail to be lost in the in the tree line because it was just too bright up close okay here we are in the backyard and uh, we're gonna play with this night vision just a bit okay this bench is about 25 yards away it's a very overcast night but there's a lot of ambient light because I'm living on the kind of outskirts of the city uh, there's enough light that I can halfways make out something where the bench is obviously I can see the uh, light next to it but to give a better idea how well I can see with the naked eye uh, this potter that's about 20 yards away I can see it and make out there's an object there but I can't really see any details on it so that's the limit of the human vision on this night and uh, let's see if I can get this focused it's kind of hard because I'm trying to focus the front lens and looking at it on the screen instead of through the actual viewfinder on the uh, scope so there's our 50-yard uh, birdhouse and we'll just pan across uh, I'll turn on the illuminator just to show you the brightness of it a little bit but really it's so bright out that the illuminator just causes the tube to actually uh, automatically gain down or, or auto brightness control to kick in so and there's the tube focused in and there, as you can see every time I'm hitting it the tubes are uh, actually dropping gain to accommodate it that's with the uh, beam focused if I widen it out to give you area lighting again it's still uh, incredibly bright to where in this circumstance uh, it's really not going to be very beneficial so we'll go ahead and take a look some other places okay here we are in front of the house uh, laser on no artificial or add-on lighting uh, tube I think is actually auto brightness controlled down just a little bit from the street lighting 
The street lights approximately 50 yards away on either side, uh, lighting up the roadway. However, the trees in the dark, so I can see the roadway. And looking, I can see the trees behind the mailbox where it's kind of lit up a little bit. But back in there, I can't see anything with the naked eye. Panning across. You can see a little bit of glare from the street light kind of bouncing and getting in the lens a little bit. And there is a house at 140 yards. As you can see, the laser is still very functional, still works out to that distance. So I would say this is a pretty uh, successful build. Okay, and here we are out a little bit uh, just outside the city limits. And what you're looking at is a tree line about 300 yards away. And a railroad crossing. As you can see the laser is still visible at 300-400 yards away. And uh, with this light, we really don't need much illumination, if any. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the illuminator real quick here. Low, medium, and high. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of haze in the air. And uh, really, this uh, illuminator, like I said, it's good. I think it's good out to a good 200 yards for decent illumination. But you really don't need it because it's um, actually... Uh, causing your, your contrast level to be lower in detail. So if I back that out a little bit before it's not focused, again you still have more detail primarily because the foreground is being illuminated. So there you go, uh, 300 yards away. And believe it or not, that's the uh, flashing lights and the tail light of a car. And there we have an airplane flying overhead. This video was shot using a Nikon 1V1 and 1V5. Here's a rig that I put together just for the night vision image portion of the video using a 1V1. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to produce some more night vision comparison videos and other fun stuff in the not so distant future. This video took a lot of time and effort to produce. It's copyrighted by Phoenix Rising. Please feel free to link to it so long as you credit this YouTube channel or download it for personal use only. Use this video in whole or in part for commercial purposes without my written consent is expressly forbidden.